What's going on everybody and welcome to the man behind the beard. Now, if you guys actually follow my channel then you know what this is what this video is gonna be about. It basically just gives me a chance to kind of uh, tell you guys a bit more about me um, and also for me to kind of rant about something if, if something's annoyed me or whatever. But today I'm gonna to be going back to basics. I'm gonna be kind of talking about myself, um, things that have happened that are quite important, you know, like life-changing things. And also, uh, some of you I asked, I, I put out on Twitter if you can basically give me questions, and I did get quite a few actually, which is awesome, so I will be opening, uh, opening, <laughs> I will be answering those questions. Um, but yeah, if you do have any questions for me, then, then just either direct message me on Twitter or, or just uh, tweet me. But to get started, my name is Carl. That is my name. My name is Carl, but you know, I like to be called Hobo. And I am about six foot two. I like the same size as a door. And I'm quite a bulky lad. I played uh, paid rugby um, for quite a while at school. Uh, I did go to college. I studied. Hang on. I studied games development. So I kind of learned about how games are developed and and you know a load of stuff and I learned I learned so much through that course I mean it was a bit of a bummer that my teacher was actually a twat <laughs> um, he was useless I, I learned more I took about six months off in my final year of college just purely teaching myself um, because he was really useless now I did go to university um, uh, I study I started to study special effects uh, which was absolutely epic but I dropped out after a couple of months because I'm not gonna lie a, for a year's like term for a year's term at university it's seven and a half grand yeah seven and a half grand a year and honestly the course I, I couldn't see going anywhere so so I decided to quit but you know I probably will go back to university and maybe study um, video development or something like that but if you guys can like hear my door like banging, it's because the wind is absolutely horrendous over here. We're supposed to be getting like a hurricane kind of thing, not a hurricane, but like like a really strong 100 mile per hour winds, which is crazy. That could like blow me over, and I'm I'm not an easy guy to blow over. Like there's some wild rugby players used to know. Um, now question time, question time. Now if I go a bit quiet, it's purely because I'm looking at my screen. Now, I'm going to answer Greatest Jones' question first, purely because he sent me about four or five. Um, he said, who is the can opener? Now, if you guys don't realise, once when I was doing my um, survival world with, with uh, the Try Harder Xbox and all that group, um, my girlfriend was actually doing dinner at the time and she she was patting the bottom of a can, so it was making like a kind of noise. <laughs> Everyone was like, whoa, what's going on? I was like, oh, it's just my girlfriend that she's opening a can. They were like, oh, the can opener. So who is the can opener? That would be my girlfriend. She is the can opener. It's like a standing joke between me and the try-harder guys. Um, what What is in your pockets? Only check on the actual show. Um, I don't actually have anything in my pockets. I normally store like things on the side of my sofa. Uh, on my on my sofa, I have my TV remote, my uh, my little. Uh, keyboard, QWERTY keyboard that plugs into the bottom of the controller because I'm making a mini game so I need that. Uh, I've got my cigarettes <laughs> and my house keys. Yes. That's about it. I don't really have anything. I, I, I could have put something in my pocket like, I don't know, something really crazy but... Now, next question. What is your favourite colour? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be cliche and I'm going to say blue because I have like a blue sofa you know, pretty much every living room I've, I've kind of decorated has been like blue. So yeah, I'm going to say like blue. Can you open a can on the show? No. Purely because my girlfriend would kick my ass if I if I wasted food, if I like opened a can of beans and I, I didn't eat them. And I'm not very hungry, so no. <laughs> okay, right, so I also, that I think that was all the questions from Greatest Jones. Mainly orientated around the can. The can. Now, I have got a question from uh, Try Harder Xbox. What was your first video game experience? Now, 
I'm going to go back to my first Xbox video game experience because I did used to play uh, the PS2 and the PS1 and all that. I played things like Lara Croft and, and like the really old games. But my first gaming experience on the Xbox uh, was actually Halo. Um, yeah, my my gran, my grandmother, my grandma. Uh, she she was working for a bank, and she actually won it, and she gave it to me as a Christmas present. I mean, come on, how easy is that? You win something, it's a, it's a free Christmas present. It's easy, but yeah, she, I I've got um, I had the, the the first Xbox and Halo. And honestly, I lived on it. Ever since I held the Xbox controller, like, I just fell in love with it. I mean, I never thought I would uh, before I was always, like, a PlayStation guy. But as soon as the Xbox, I held it. It was it was truly amazing. Now, Mega Derpness. Derp! Derpity derp. Uh, he asked, where did you come up with the beard? I didn't find the beard. The beard found me. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess you're kind of asking why I'm kind of called Hobo, or why the video is called Man Behind the Beard. Basically, when I started YouTube, I wanted to name, I wanted a cool name that, you know, you know, I'd enjoy and people would enjoy. I was thinking, oh, I was stumped for months, I, I really couldn't think of one. And, by the way, I have no idea how this, how long this video is going on for, it's gone on for like six minutes so far, but, um... And then I asked my family and like my friends, and I said, "Right, look at me. Right, what do I look like?" And they all said, "Hobo." <laughs> now, you know, I don't know whether that's—I don't know whether I should be offended, but it gave me my YouTube name. So, yeah, basically, I have a beard. I actually need to shave my beard. You know, when I start doing actually video logs, vlogs, then then you guys will actually see I, I do have quite quite an impressive beard. But now I do actually wanted to tell you guys a story. I was thinking about it last night when I was laid in bed. And it was a story um, of really how life can change in, in a split second. Now, um, I'm I'm not I'm not paralysed or I'm not disabled or anything, but I could have been. Um, I was I think I was about 14. I was in I was in school, and we have a woods n near where I used to live. And I went out with uh, my best friend at the time, traitor, traitor, asshole. Uh, I went out with my best friend at the time, and. There was like this rope swing, but it wasn't a standard rope swing. Basically, the woods like dipped down into like this valley, and the rope swing would like swing over this massive valley. And I went on it. It was about the fourth or fifth time that I went on it, and I just completely blacked out. Literally, I got to the top of like like the swing. Um, I swung and I got to the top, and I my whole body just blacked out, and I fell. Um, I I just completely let go. I have no remembrance of this. I have no memory of it. But um, I just let go, my my whole body, my whole self just blacked out, and I actually just plummeted to the bottom of like this valley. It was, it was about a ten-story drop. Now, you know, yeah, stupid that my body decided to black out as at the top of this uh, valley. But if my body didn't have blacked out, I would have all clenched up, and I probably would have broken every single bone in my body. So, kind of, my body saved my life. <laughs> so yeah. I think I think thinking about stuff like that is really just a shocker because it shows how how your life can really change in like a split second. I mean, when I when I jumped off of the valley and I and I was going, "Woo, fuck yeah!" I probably had a higher voice back then, but um, I really didn't think that I I could have I could have ended up a lot worse than what I did. I actually rode my BMX home. <laughs> yeah, that's how long it was. I had a BMX. I was actually interested in 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 doing sports and stuff <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to share you guys with that now if you guys are honestly still watching if you guys are going ah oh, I'm fucking bored of this and please comment down below how far through the video you watched it and if you guys are still watching then thank you thank you and if you actually enjoyed it then thumbs up because you know if you guys like this kind of stuff then I then I will do it more often I really enjoy kind of talking more about me um, instead of my YouTube but obviously uh, uh, yes, I wanted to show you guys this. Now, I probably, I probably put a picture on Twitter. You probably might be able to hear it. Yeah, it probably sounds horrible. <laughs> but I bought the. Uh, I'm a big fan of Borderlands 2, and I bought the the special edition Vault Hunters edition, and I got the Marcus Bobblehead. Ah, oh, he's amazing. Yeah, he sits next to my. He's like my little mascot. He sits next to my Xbox. Whenever I record, I like 
bing his head and it like bubbles as I record, but um, that's so sad. Anyway, but anyway guys, like I said, if you like the video then please thumbs up, you know, it indicates to me that you guys like this kind of stuff and I'll do it more often. I've got into a habit of uploading once every two days, excuse me, every, every other day, I think that's what they call it, yeah, every other day. But I, that's kind of working for me because then I can put like a whole day's effort into getting this video together and getting it to the best of its ability. And I also, ah, yes, I wanted to say a massive thank you to um, a group of three guys who played my adventure map, uh, Nixie Doe, Mr. Jungle Boy, and and Bro Bro something. <laughs> I can't remember. It's Pro Three AG or oh, well, whatever. I just want to say. A massive thank you to those three guys because they played my adventure map and honestly I couldn't ask for better feedback. They said like it's the best adventure map they play on Xbox which was amazing for me because I spent so many months on it. To be honest I'm sick of the sight of it. I was thinking this map is crap but you know they, they came in and they really enjoyed it and they really praised it and they recorded and it was it was fantastic. It was, it was amazing. I really I, I couldn't thank you guys enough really. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, like the video if you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. See you later.